In a poignant and deeply moving gesture, Princess Catherine of the United Kingdom has expressed her profound gratitude for the overwhelming support she has received as she battles cancer. Kensington Palace has been inundated with tens of thousands of Get Well Soon cards and gifts from well-wishers across the nation and around the world, showcasing a remarkable outpouring of love and encouragement for the beloved royal. The Princess of Wales has been out and about more than with her family in recent weeks, the Mail understands, as palace officials revealed that they have been inundated with tens of thousands of Get Well Soon cards and gifts for the Princess of Wales. The correspondence team is said to have been so touched by the love and affection shown to Catherine, 42, who recorded an emotional video message in March revealing she had spotted preventative chemotherapy for cancer. The princess has withdrawn from public life to concentrate on recovery as well as protecting her young family. But the outpouring of support continues. The volume of correspondence has at times been difficult to the team to cope up with, but staff do aim to reply to all the writers. All letters to members of the royal family are dealt with by the court post office. In a normal week, the palace can expect up to 1,000 letters, but what they have experienced since March has significantly surpassed that. While Catherine venturing out with family will be taken as positive sign by many, Kensington Palace has stressed that she still needs time and space to recover. Since the news of Catherine's cancer diagnosis was made public, a wave of support has swept across the country. Thousands of people from all walks of life, from children to elderly, have come together to send messages of encouragement and small gifts as a way to show their love and solidarity. Handwritten letters, carefully crafted cards, and beautiful bouquets have transformed Kensington Palace into a haven of compassion and goodwill. Princess Catherine has long been admired for her elegance and grace, but her battle with cancer has revealed an extraordinary strength and resilience. Her heartfelt tribute is not only a sincere thank you to those who have supported her, but also an inspiring message to anyone facing similar challenges. Catherine's word serves as a beacon of hope and a testament to the power of community and empathy in times of adversity. The story of Princess Catherine and her touching tribute has resonated deeply with millions. It serves as a powerful reminder of the strength that can be found in unity and the human spirit capacity for kindness and support. As the nation and the world continue to rally around her, there is a collective hope for Catherine's swift recovery and return to health. The overwhelming response of all wishers has provided Princess Catherine with not just a treasure trove of thoughtful cards and gifts, but a profound sense of encouragement that will undoubtedly aid her on her journey to recovery. This display of solidarity and compassion has touched hearts and uplifted spirits, underscoring the enduring power of community and shared humanity. Princess Catherine conveyed her heartfelt thanks in an emotional video sent from Kensington Palace in her message she said. I wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you personally for all the wonderful messages of support and for your understanding whilst I have been recovering from surgery. However, Kensington Palace confirmed that she has been across every aspect of the report from home despite her illness. Her spokesman said, The work of the Prince and Princess Project is always on early childhood and a huge priority for the Princess, and so she has been kept fully updated throughout the development of the task force work, and she has seen the report. A senior royal aide added, The Princess of Wales was the driving force behind the business task force. She has been kept up to date since the inception of the task force, and she has read the report and been briefed on it. This is a clear commitment she has made that throughout her life of public service, that will be this focus. That will continue when she returns to work, but we have been really clear that she needs the space and privacy to recover right now. She will return to work when she has had the green light from doctors.